The NFL is dealing with another case of alleged domestic violence following the arrest of John Bolin, son of the owner of the Denver Broncos. Bolin was taken into custody Wednesday night after police responded to a drop 911 call. Adriana Diaz is at the Broncos training facility outside Denver. 911, where is the emergency? Yeah, I'm at 4550 South Cherry Creek Drive. Hi, please! Ah! A 911 call from this Denver high rise is the latest known case of alleged domestic violence by an NFL employee. This is the owner of the Denver Broncos. I'm sorry, Kay. The call actually involved the son of the owner of the Denver Broncos. 29-year-old John Bolin works for the Broncos in marketing. He's also a candidate to take over the team's ownership from his father, Pat Bolin, who has Alzheimer's. Wednesday night, John's girlfriend called 911 during a fight, but the call dropped, and when 911 called back, John answered. And she's leaving now, and I have nothing to, there's nothing to be said at all. Okay. okay, but you understand that a female calling asking for help on 911 is kind of a big deal. John? Yeah, no, this is ridiculous. I have done nothing wrong. I didn't say you did anything wrong. He later called himself the blood of the city. As the blood of the city, I'm telling you right now, nothing is wrong. And she is leaving my house. Okay? Okay, then, then maybe you need help escorting her out. No, 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 no. Trust me, and I, I, I'm, a, I'm sober. I'm a man of my word. Bolin was later arrested. His girlfriend told police he shoved her against a wall. The incident brings domestic violence back to the NFL's doorstep. Last year, former Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice punched his then fiance in an elevator. That case and others prompted the league to overhaul its personal conduct policy. Now, any NFL employee who commits domestic violence is automatically suspended and an independent investigation is launched. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell spoke to CBS This Morning's Charlie Rose in April about the new rules. Our policy is not the same as a criminal standard. It's a standard that says if you violate our personal conduct policy, you're subject to discipline. That discipline was laid out in a Bronco statement about Bolin. The team said while this is a personal issue, he is accountable to all club and league conduct policies. As such, John will be placed on an indefinite leave of absence from the organization. Bolin was charged with misdemeanor harassment and obstruction of telephone service. Jim, last year the, the Broncos became one of the first NFL teams to require a mandatory domestic violence training for all its employees, including John Bolin. Adriana Diaz covering for us tonight in Englewood, Colorado. Adriana, thank you.